burdens down when I lay my burdens down. Gonna lay my burdens Maybe what you desire is peace. Maybe what you desire is love. Maybe what you desire is a transition in life. Maybe what you desire is a house. Maybe what you desire is, 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 is something that is beyond your ability right now to receive it. So as Sarah is looking at the situation, she says, listen, this is not a conversation of whether or not God wants me to have it. I know God wants me to have it. I just don't have it right now. So she goes to Abraham. She says, hey, listen, um, the Lord is doing this. The, the, the Lord is, is restricting me, she says. But I, I do want to have and give one to you. She says, I, I have an Egyptian woman. I have an Egyptian woman. Her name is Hagar. Her name is Hagar. And she says, uh, so Abraham, this is what I want you to do. Uh, I want you uh, to lay with her. I want you to lay with her. And then through her, through her, we'll have a child and we'll have what God wants to give us. Uh, I can imagine Abraham is not in the text. Baby, I'm here for you. I just want to support you. Uh, if this is what you want, you want me to sleep with her, then hey, I'm here for the family, I'm a team player. Um, I'm not going to sit here and fight with you. Now I want you to understand, it was in Sarah's spirit. You have two people who are waiting for the same thing, but they're waiting differently. Sarah knows that God has to open a door for her. And in her situation, it's her womb. She's waiting on God to open up a door for her so that she can be able to receive what God has promised. So she's waiting for the door to be open. But it's difficult for her because Abraham is waiting too, but Abraham is waiting differently than her. God promised, but Abraham is waiting for God to open up her door so that he can receive not only from God, but also through her. You see the partnership? So sometimes you're waiting on God to give you what he wants to give you, but you have to wait on other people. And that's difficult because be, sometimes it, 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 it would be one thing if you were just waiting between you and God, but sometimes when there's other people involved and you have to wait on God to work on this person, to work on that person, so that you can be able to receive what you want, sometimes that can be very difficult. Sometimes we, that can be very, very difficult. One of, the, one of the most difficult things to do, you know why, you know why I know uh, waiting and being patient is hard? You, do you know why I know? that being waiting and being patient is hard. You want to know why? It is hard being celibate before you get married. Amen. I only got one amen. I only got one. I only got one. One amen. It's difficult. It's difficult. And everybody knows that if you know the Bible, you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to wait and abstain from sex until you get married. But on the way to the We get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. On the, what did you say? On the, on the way to what God wants you to have. Amen. Yeah. You have other things that call your name. Yeah. Someone said, but it I couldn't help myself. Mm -hmm. so it, it, sometimes your desire is so strong oh, that you become blind. Some of us literally. <laughs> you become blind. Because you're pursuing something that God wants to give you. All right. But you don't have the strength and the patience to wait for it. My wrong is upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judged between me and thee. Notice this. She says, I know a way where we can get what God wants to give us faster. And so she says, Abram, I want you to go sleep with her. And, uh, and so Abraham uh, uh, conceded, and the Bible says that Abram and Hagar got together and, and got married and got, became intimate. Hagar got pregnant and ended up having a child. But as Sarah was sitting there watching, 
she was displeased in her heart. And at the moment it came, at the moment that the child came, she says, my sin is before me. Have you ever took a shortcut when you should have waited for the Lord, have you ever taken a shortcut and you didn't wait on the Lord and the moment that you received what God wanted to give you, it didn't bring you the pleasure that you were supposed to have because you didn't wait on the Lord. What good is a house if God isn't in it? What good is a job? What good is a career if God is not blessing it? And, and what good is it for you to go your own way? Because you know what happens when you go your own way and you try to make yourself happy? When you go your own way and you try to get what God wants to give you but too soon, you're the one that's going to have to provide for it. You're the one that's going to have to support it. And it's not as enjoyable. Matter of fact, you'll desire and almost wish to be able to give it back. You'll say to yourself, you go, oh, I wish I never would have received this. Because if you can't wait on God, then you'll miss the other things that God wanted to add to it. See, there are some things that you're asking for that you don't realize the other things that are necessary in order for you to enjoy it. When I lay my burdens down, gonna lay my burdens down.